What a small holding looks like. Looks like you may have a small paddock size place. You have chickens. You have pony horses. You can have shire horses, big ones. You can have a uh, chicken coops, and definitely you may have also somewhere like a little incubator for chickens. And uh, yeah, quarantine area that is there. And goat further if you want. You don't need much land for this. And you will end up with a lot of uh, joy. Look, these ponies are so tiny, so beautiful. So that is what is a small holding. Uh, it can cost you, but uh, you can pay it back. The main cost is in the land and uh, some structures and fencing. And food gradually pays for itself. If you just want to eat what you have, uh, it may pay in the food if, or you can have a business like what here they are doing. They have a little business and they're selling hens and chickens to others. You can extend your business by doing it online also. And you can have horses and uh, you know, you can go for shows and farm shows and show the animals to the people. You can have a little, you know, uh, like a caravan camp or, or houses, chalet and such things. To host the people for the weekend, you can earn like that also some money. It's a fun, you don't need practically to go holiday because that will be your life. And a good quality life. Ponies can be a very good pet when you have a small holding. They're quite a small animals. They don't need much space. And they're easy to take care of. So when you have a pony, you have a lot of fun. And these ponies are really good because the kids can love them. You know? Easily friendly with the kids. Those horses need big space. These ones, they're not that demanding. You can keep them with the chickens, as you can see here. The ponies can be kept with the chickens. Did you notice they kept them with the chickens, these ponies? Let me touch this pony. Oh, so kind, so gentle. They are sweet. They know that there is nothing in my hands. But look how how low maintenance they are. You can keep them in a chicken coop, in a little paddock. The big ones don't go with that. But ponies, easily, you can make money with them. Do they have any kind of disease or anything? Look at the hoof. The hoof's a bit. Yeah. They just need to put. Need the trimming. Yeah, they need trimming, but apart from that. Do they have a hoof uh, thing for them also? Yeah. Horseshoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean that one's a little bit. His feet a little bit grown, but trying to sort that out. Lovely pony. Come baby. Is it an insult to a horse to be kept with chickens, I think? <laughs> All of his lights hanging around anywhere where there's grass. <laughs> They're well dressed for the winter. Oh, she has tears in her eyes. I hope she doesn't have any eye problem. She has a little dandruff. You can see. Yeah, it's a dandruff. Dandruff. You need a shampoo. They're molting now. Oh, baby. They're molting. Oh, 
one. This one needs attention. These are the trees I planted with my own hand four years ago in this small holding. And look how thick they are now. These ones were from the oldie, and these ones from the yeah, bought it from the keeper's nursery. Different cherries and different apples and plums and pears. This is Concord. They are doing really well in this small holding environment. Oh, I'm so happy they are doing well. And those raspberries are planted in myself also. These are beautiful. Napoleon Bigaro, Merton Glory, all of them. This had a little bit suffered from the lack of attention, but now you see full of blossoms. And we saw in this uh, shop of the small holding. Never mind the dog, beware of the owner. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I like that. This is my second home. In a shop of a small holding, oh, you can find all kind of things like that. Duck eggs and uh, goose eggs. And this is a Ria's egg, I think. That's a Ria's really, yeah. It can be bigger than that, of course, but here's what you get. And you can get onions and all the other kind of stuff. Layers pellet, 10 pound. Hen eggs, tray, 7. Uh, GNF, what is GNF? Three pound. Fresh farm eggs for sale. We are now in the small holding and choosing the eggs for fertilization. So we are trying to take the eggs which are big. We want uh, one of them hopefully be a rooster, so no, taking care of the everything. Look, you yeah, I can, I can. Here. I want a lake bird. It's a lake bird. Lake birds are yeah, no. olive color or they are other colors. Just oh, pick, funny, pick, funny, pick, 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 big ones. Yeah, yeah, they're all big. Yeah. Oh. This is big. Where? Oh, right yes. Yeah, we get to save them. Yeah, another one here. Susan yeah. here. Just here, the last one in this row. First row. Okay, we'll pick one. You pick those ones. I think pick this one. The dark one. one. They look nice. Okay. And pick this also if and you that's want. Number seven. Okay. Or if they look like each other. Another... Holding also will have lamps. And these are the spring lamps or Easter lamps, as you see. They may have been born yesterday or just this week. They look very tiny. And they are, do you think they are one or two days old? Or? Oh, no, they're older than that. Older than that. They're very strong, yeah. Nibbling. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are all the things you find in a. Oh, there's after source of heat. Have they burnt their horns? Yeah, they usually see them. In a small holdings, you have a smell, you know, it's not, it's not unusual. You have all kinds of smells. So if you're a city slicker and you, are, you don't like smells, don't go for this kind of, you know, small holding business because you will have a lot of smells. Animals have a smells, farms have a smells. Animals leave and just poo in their place. So this is the normal thing. Oh, we have here some quail and parrots. And beautiful parrots also here. I don't want to get too close. When I get oh, here rabbits. This is what you have in a small holding also. You can have rabbits. You can have, you know, shows and give it to the... Oh, this is a mom with the hands. And the beautiful hands. So cute. And more rabbits. These are bunny or rabbits, Susan? No, they are rabbits. All of them are rabbits.
You may even have dogs in these places. Oh, that's a bottle for the feeding of the lamb. This is a small holding life. This is what you will leave if you are into a small holding. This is a Brinsey Ova Easy Advanced uh, Series 2 egg incubator. This is in a small holding that uh, we have came to pick, pick the eggs. And as you see, some of the chicks already have hatched. And they keep this gap, I don't know, on. Why? Because probably the eggs and some of the chickens are at the same time in the thing. So they let them not to get very hot. I don't understand it. Because I see, I hear the alarm is on. Over easy, advanced. So it has, uh, how many trays it has? One, two, three, four. And as a fact, we know that they do hatch here hens, they do hatch rears, these large eggs probably duck and rears, and uh, goose, and probably even some turkey. And also they hatch probably in this lower part, I've not seen it now, I cannot see it now, but probably some quail and pheasant eggs also. So this is a really versatile uh, incubator. Beautiful.